What's going on guys, Rodrigo here, and today I want to go ahead and cover the second to last day of training of our final intensity block. So on this particular day, we had high bar squats, we had conventional deadlift, followed by some accessory work, which I did not get to record. However, that's perfectly fine, uh, just because I want to go ahead and get the main work out and uh, visible to you guys. So. First and foremost, I want to go ahead and say that this particular day of training did not go as planned. It did not go very well, unfortunately. I had programmed 365 for a 4x4 with an AMRAP on the last set. So an AMRAP would be as many reps as possible on the last set. And AMRAPs are done for a number of reasons. I'm not going to jump into why, but for now I will say that they are one of many ways to help or identify strength gain um, with lower volume, excuse me, with lower intensity and more volume. So essentially they are a measurement of strength or potential strength. And like I said, I did not go for the AMRAP on this particular training day. Everything was feeling extremely heavy. I was having issues with placing the barbell on my traps. For some reason, it continuously came out uneven. The unrack was terrible. Everything was just not there. So I decided to play it safe and just work with three sets of four reps, which were pretty darn challenging I would say RPE 9 to 10 and I made the decision to do something very similar for a conventional deadlift because that wasn't moving so well which you guys will see in the next clip or two so I guess what I really want to relay in this video is that obviously not everything goes according to plan but when those things happen it is your ability or inability to adjust in such a way that make makes things better or or makes things happen that are in line with your goal so if you're ever faced with a you know tough situation and you have a set or monumental goal make sure that your decision on that day is specific to that goal now, I, I, you know, most people, or at least some people would say, man up and just do it. But I don't think, quote unquote, manning up and doing it was really the correct choice, nor the safest choice. So I decided not to. I decided that I wanted to save whatever strength I could on that day and then focus on recovery for the following day, which was a bench press day and that is exactly what i did so i finished off with three sets of four reps at 365 for squats no amrap and three sets of doubles at 465 for conventional deadlift no amrap as well it, and you know really looking back uh on this training session there were i guess a few things i could have avoided a few things i could have controlled i could have you know i could have eaten more I could have slept more, but because it's almost, you know, finals for me as a student right now, things kind of get out of whack as far as my health, what I eat, how much I eat, how much I sleep, my stress levels do increase. So there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are affecting my training right now, but of course, once that's over, things should you know balance out and with that being said I'm currently going through a deload so I will be posting the last video of this week this previous training week or week four of my intensity block in a day or two but for now I am going through a deload so I will not be posting any more footage after the bench press footage until I get back to uh, to my real prep or to some heavier weights so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in that next video.